Hello friends, today I will discuss about auto reclose of circuit breaker and dead time and reclaim time. So before going through this video, you are requested to please go to my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Now why auto declosure of the circuit breaker is required? Uh, so if a fault occur in a transmission line, relay will sense this fault and relay send a trip signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will be tripped and the fault will be cleared. Now, uh, now the human interventions is uh, required in order to uh, normal the line. So circuit breaker is uh, required uh, the closing pulse which is given uh, by the human operating personnel. So there is a time delay in order to uh, normalize the transmission line. In case of uh, transmission line, majority of the fault are transient in nature. Mostly 80 to 85 percent fault are transient in nature. For example, flashover of insulator during foggy season due to low creepage distance, back flashover due to lightning stroke due to high torque fitting resistance, tree touching any of the face of the transmission line. These are the example of transient fault. The fault will be clear after the breaker is tripped. So in this type of fault, in order to maintain stability, automatic reclosure of the circuit breaker is required and therefore it will uh, avoid the time delay which is uh, occurred during human interventions. Uh, now what is dead time and reclaim time and dead time is the minimum time which is given to the relay starting from tripping to the auto reclose short to the circuit breaker. Uh, for example, relay sends the fault and the relay will send a uh, trip signal to the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will be open. So it will wait for a certain period of time which is given at the relay and after that uh, relay will send a auto reclose. Uh, short to the circuit breaker. So this time duration is called the dead time and dead time is different for different voltage level. And what is reclaim time? Reclaim time is the time duration between first successful auto reclose and CB is ready for next auto reclose cycle. For example, uh, after the dead time, uh, the relay has uh, sent a auto reclose short to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker normalize. And after certain period of time, if fault is sensed by the relay, then again uh, relay will send a, a trip signal and uh, uh, the, uh, the breaker will be open and uh, after a certain period of dead time, the relay will send a uh, auto reclose pulse. So it is uh, the uh, time between the two successive auto reclose. So what are the criteria for auto reclose? Uh, number one, the fault must be detected in zone one. If it is a zone two, then there must be carrier added protection tip uh, in order to successful auto reclose uh, from the uh, distance relay. So number two is uh, CB shall be healthy and CB healthy status is given in the distance relay binary input. Number three is carrier shall be healthy. Along with uh, there are some other criteria uh, just like uh, master trip relays shall not be operated. Number 5 is LBB and bus bar shall not be operated. And number 6 is uh, third, then there is the auto reclose switch uh, shall be in enable positions. These are the criteria for successful auto reclose. Uh, now why uh, auto reclose uh, is not given in zone 2? So here is an example, uh, a line is connected between substation A and substation B and zone 1 is the 80% line coverage from substation A and, uh, towards substation B and remaining 20% is covered by uh, zone 2. Uh, again from substation B and to substation uh, towards substation A and zone 1 is 80% of the line length and remaining 20% is covered under zone 2 location. Now consider a fault occur at point F uh, that is uh, both uh, zone 1 from substation A end and also substation B end. So uh, relay will send uh, this fault in zone 1 time and uh, send a trip signal to the respective circuit breaker for both the substation end 
and after dead time of 0.8 to 1 second and the distance area will send out a request short to the circuit breaker and breaker will be normal if uh, there is no fault persist now consider the fault occur at zone 2 at point 8 from substation a end now this point uh, located at uh, zone 1 uh, from substation b end now since uh, the fault occur at uh, zone 1 location from substation b end relay at substation b end will send trip signal instantaneously that is without any time delay and the circuit breaker will be tripped instantaneously and uh, substation b end uh, the relay will wait uh, for 350 to 500 milliseconds and it will send a trip signal to the circuit breaker uh, now there is a, again uh, 100 to 150 millisecond times required for trip coil energized plus CV opening time and arc interruption time. So as uh, there is a time delay between 350 to 500 millisecond uh, at substation A and as total uh, almost 500 millisecond is required uh, to clear the fault from substation uh, A and and now there is a minimum deionization time uh, for fault current depending upon the voltage level. Normally for 220 kV voltage level, uh, deionization uh, time for single pole uh, to earth uh, fault is 560 millisecond and for 3 pole it is 280 millisecond. Since fault cleared from substation A end at about 500 millisecond and deionization time is another 560 millisecond that is in total uh, 1060 millisecond but uh, there is a recross pulse will be given from substation a b end uh, from the distance relay after 800 millisecond as the dead time is 8, 800 millisecond so the re the relay will sense this uh, as a fault and that uh, as the fault uh, current uh, does not completely deionize and it will uh, send TOR that is trip on reclose and it will uh, uh, breaker will be tripped instantaneously. So as the fault is uh, transient in nature but uh, since the fault is detected uh, in zone 2 location from substation A end but in case of substation B and zone one, uh, zone one location, uh, and but uh, it uh, could not uh, successfully reclose uh, due to there is a mismatch between zone location from both the substation. So in order to avoid uh, this, uh, carrier added protection scheme is given, and and that is why carrier must be healthy in order to successful auto reclose. So in this case, uh, substation as the fault is detected at zone one in substation B end, there will be a carrier sent from uh, distance relay, and this carrier signal will be sent uh, through the DPC or LCC uh, and to the power end substation, and this will be received at substation A end uh, from DPC or PLCC, and it will be received to the distance relay. Since there is a zone two pick up and carrier receive the relay will send a instantaneous trip to the circuit breaker so both the substation breaker will be trip almost uh, at the same time so in this case after the dead time is over the both the breaker will be closed simultaneously and there will be successful auto reclose from the both the end now let us discuss about the auto reclose cycle, dead time and reclaim time by means of graphical representation. So here uh, the uh, single pole uh, trip or three pole trip has been occurred that is given from the distance relay which is uh, shown in the block uh, as a red color. So after the dead time uh, there will be a close pulse from the distance relay which is been which is shown in the red color so as soon as the close uh, close pulse is given uh, uh, there will be the reclaim time will be start uh, and if uh, any fault is detected 
by the distance L, then there will be T over that is the trip on reclose. And after uh, the reclaim time is over, if a fault is detected, and then a single pole tripping or three pole tripping will be occur uh, based on the setting which is given to the distance relay. So after the reclaim time, the CB is ready, and also at the same time, the distance relay is ready for the next order reclose cycle. So again, it will wait for the dead time which is given to the relay. And after the dead time is over, then the close uh, pulse uh, that is the auto reclose pulse is given from the distance relay, which is shown in the red color. And as soon as the auto reclose pulse is given, uh, there will be a starting time of the reclaim time. So, why reclaim time is given? Normally, reclaim time is given as a 25 second. So, normally, reclaim time is start from the auto reclose sort is given from the distance relay so within the reclaim time uh, if uh, fault is sensed by the distance relay then there will be auto reclose block and as well as uh, three pole tripping pulse will be given to the circuit breaker so the breaker will be trip uh, permanently until and unless it is normal by the manual closure of the circuit breaker so reclaim time is given in order to prevent the circuit breaker to trip multiple time under fault condition so friends uh, if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching